Hey everybody. Hello. And I am Stav. And I'm Joseph. And we are back here again. We're here every single Wednesday live to show you a cool tutorial. Actually today we're not live. It's a lie. Uh, but we knew we couldn't be here today and we still wanted to give you a video tutorial. We know that it's easier for a lot of you to just learn visually, visual learners. Uh, and we can also give you some extra tips and tricks along the way that we, you won't get in the tutorial that we post every Tuesday. So uh, that's basically it. We'll still answer your questions. If you have any questions, write them below in the comments and I'll answer them uh, afterwards. And don't forget to like, share with your friends. Share it to everybody. People that really want to yeah, know how to do cool street. stuff. Yeah, yeah. Or people who, people want to do cool stuff. iPhone art people. But, but they actually should ask for their Facebook so they can actually yeah, share it. Yeah, you have to be friends with them on Facebook. It's a process. All right, All right it's a process, yeah. Anyway, uh, this tutorial is actually pretty advanced. It's something we've never done before. It's called Glitch Tutorial. The glitch. It's actually made possible because of our newest update, which was the Elements update. So let's get started. Thank you, Stav. All right, so this is our cool tutorial. And as you can see, there's a lot of uh, psychedelic stuff going on here, like in a glitch effect. And this is basically the picture we started with. And all you need is a portrait picture. And you don't really need, you don't need it to be like a flat background and it could be any kind of portrait but uh, be aware of the resolution because it might be very important in this case actually in every case but in this case especially in this case if it's low resolution it's going to come out not the way you want yes so the first thing we're going to do we're going to turn this picture into white so let's go to the menu and then let's go to image adjust then we're going to go to tools basic and offset and we're gonna raise it to 100. 200. That's it. Now let's start the check mark. And now we're gonna add some lines, uh, and you'll see why. Um, this we're gonna go to artistic elements. Scroll all the way to the 21st. 21st. The 21st uh, element. Very we good. counted that You're, for you. Counted but that. basically, the one with the lots of the lines. Yes. Now you cannot see it right now, but I'm going to turn it to black and so do you. So let's go to tools, color, and then black. And I'll tap again the color and then it will disappear. And now you can turn it. And basically what I'm going to do here, it's uh, I'm going to make it uh, bigger and place it somewhere like here, for example. And I'm going to add another one. This is the minimum quantity but you can add as much as you like so let's add another one and it will create um the so same add size by just tapping that plus sign right there yes I'm pointing as if you guys see it pointing. but that plus sign that's in like the bottom right corner that's how you can add another element without having to tap the check mark and then going back into the tool again so it just makes it a lot more simple to it's also like that in text so you can just Tap the plus, add another element, tap the plus, add another element, instead of having to tap the check mark and go out, go back in. Yeah. So if you didn't know, that's what, what it does. And uh, basically, just you can play with the size. You can make it bigger, smaller. Uh, I'm going to leave it just a little bit bigger and just place it somewhere else, like here, for example. And just... You're trying to make the lines like thicker a little bit, I think, right? Yeah, just a little bit thicker, but don't be perfectionist. This is just, this is a glitch, so it has to look like an error. So yeah. don't be kind of symmetrical or anything, just place it, whatever. And let's stop the check mark. And we're going to save this picture now. I already saved my own picture before, so I'm going to go back to the original picture like this. And we're going to go now to our picture that we just did right now. And we're going to go to Tools, Mixer and we're gonna add our portrait. Okay, so let's tap the portrait and we're gonna, zoom, we're gonna pinch to make it fit the screen, just like that. And we're gonna go to tools, blending mode, and we're gonna apply the screen or lighten, which is basically, they do the same thing in this case. And that's perfect. And now let's stop the check mark. And now again, we're going to go to the portrait. We're going to go back to the menu, back to tools and mixer. 
now we're going to add this picture that we just did right now i hope you're following it and it's not so confusing yeah. <laughs> <laughs> i told you it's gonna be tricky but we're gonna do it so now let's add this picture and we're gonna pinch to make it fit exactly the same size. Yeah, it like size. snaps into place. When you um, enlarge it with your fingers, you can see at a certain yes. point it'll like snap into place in the center. So watch. Like this. Like this. Boom. There. There you go. Yeah. Just make it fit in the center. And we're going to go to Tools, Erase, and we're going to start erasing the, the white from the image. But I know that some of you are going to be saying that this is too difficult or maybe it's too much work or maybe you did a very complex uh, line combination. So I'm going to give you a small tip so that I'm going to save you a lot of time. Because you want to erase the white, but you don't want to erase the actual line with that picture on yes. it. So it's a little bit. So tap again the erase icon and then you're going to make small the picture again you're gonna make it small like something like this really small like very small and you're gonna tap erase again and you're gonna start going just around the edges of this image and you'll see how it will start erasing all the whites very easily without too much effort just like this and that's gonna save a lot of time basically and if you make it even smaller, it's gonna do even a better job. So let's do that again. This is something really cool that I didn't even know. I don't know if, if anyone out there knew about this, and I find out about kudos this recently. to you. Yeah. So you didn't even know. So yes. And if you make it even smaller, you're gonna make it. You're gonna even finish it. So now let's zoom back and let's put it like the same size. And there you go. We just finish. That's it. So don't worry, you can do it like that. And we're gonna do just a small, we're gonna move it slightly to the left or to the right, like this. And there you go. That's like uh, already starting to look kind of trippy, kind of psychedelic uh, glitch effect. And we're gonna tap the check mark. Now there's a fun part, and we're gonna go to image adjust tools and curves this is a tool that we've actually never used before on live so yeah this is the first and time we, we, yeah we rarely use it so it's a very fun tool it's actually kind of different from the rest of the tools and it's going to let us play with the colors and actually get into a very uh, crazy combination and it's all about experimenting so don't worry and this this whole effect it's about making mistakes and letting it happen so don't be perfectionist and just go as crazy as you might think so let's go and tap the red you can also play with the all curve one but let's start with the red so basically what you do with this tool is that you can tap anywhere in the line and then you'll create a dot and then when you tap that dot you can move it around and start affecting those colors with this uh, line. This channel, this is a, the red channel, so you're gonna be affecting the reds. Um, so you, you can add as many dots, dots as you want and you can just play with it. So let's see what happens. Something like this and then I'm gonna add something like this. It's kinda look cool. Yeah. And we can add, we can move also the one from the center, up and down, right or left, right or left. Something Don't like forget that. if you guys have any questions and uh, you're not sure how to do something or you missed a step and even going, you can, if you have any questions, let us know in the comments below. We're not live today, but we can definitely answer your questions. So just let us know. Don't hesitate. Yeah, don't hesitate. And now we're going to go to the green to see what happens. And as you can see, the green is untouched because we just uh, altered the red ones. So now let's back and let's go back and do again a new dot. Start moving and all oh, right, Ooh. start to look kind of crazy, even more crazy. Kind of like this green effect in the yeah, face. Yeah, especially because he has dark skin, it comes out really, really cool. Yes, 
all the all the bright areas i don't know I, I like it i really like this effect let's go to the blue and see what happens one more time more kind of a green and then you have more blue kind of something up here and maybe somewhere here kind of like it like this what do you think yeah sometimes you get carried away i think oh that's cool too actually yeah with the blue and then you can go back to the other channels and start to see the different combinations. Don't forget, it's just it's just uh, many, many combinations yeah, that you like can get. Yeah, like limitless way to add colors and contrast. Right. Yeah, and I think we're, I think I'm... You can't stop unless we tell you to. Yes. Yeah, I think that's it. Okay. This is kind of addictive, I think. You can be playing with this all night. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's say uh, let's say this is the combination I liked, and let's stop the check mark. Now, um, usually when I add a filter, uh, it's kind of optional. It's just because I like. But in this case, it's kind of important because we're gonna use some uh, cool features in there that are gonna help us to create the ultimate glitch look that we're looking for. So let's go to filters, analog and we're gonna go to tools basic and we're gonna add just a little bit of structure just to get even more details maybe a little bit more saturation that will actually depend on how much color already is in your picture and all the rest is optional but now let's go to tools film and we're gonna add a, a hundred of grain which, and then you're gonna see the grain once you add the fade. Oh, as you can see, no, see you see the difference and you see the little dots. Why does fade noise. affect the grain? Do you know? Um, I do not Sorry. know. Sorry, <laughs> I threw you for a curveball. I'm honest, I don't really know, but I know it works. And, um, let's, and as you can see, let's compare it. And you can see there's a big difference. Now it starts to look even more Sort of glitchy. like a glitchy TV. Like a staticky, it's like a staticky look. That could be a good name, name for a for channel, actually. Static? For a TV show. Static? No. Uh, glitch? Glitch TV. Glitch TV. Yeah, it could work. It's ours, don't take it. All right, copyright. So maybe a little bit of intensity, and then we're gonna just play a little bit with the colors, and we can make it more bluish or more reddish, maybe like this is gonna be fine. And I'm gonna take away a little bit of fade, just to leave that um, more intense colors. But still, I'm I'm keeping the the grain. Now let's tool let's tap the tool tab, and maybe I'm gonna add some vignette. That's not a must, but you could do it. A little bit of spread, maybe less intensity, and I think that's it. The you can still play with more of the stuff but this is the the main stuff so remember the in the within uh, basic use the structure and saturation depending on your picture and then in uh, film you're going to use grain and fade and if you want you can use intensity but these are the main okay and let's let's stop the check mark and that's, that's about it this is how you create a very very cool glitch effect and it wasn't that hard it wasn't that hard and all you used was in light basically that's it that's yeah. all you need all you need is in light all you need uh, so that's it for today if you guys have any questions on how this tutorial was done or any other tutorials in the past if you didn't watch the entire tutorial you can always uh, look on YouTube youtube.com slash and light app and check out all of our tutorials that we've ever done ever and uh and yeah ask us your questions we'll answer you and that's it that's it thank you we'll for watching see you next week see you next, next week. week we'll be live for real no lies yeah <laughs>